No fireworks in Kailua put a damper on last night's festivities. But it's rekindled talk of moving the show back to Flat Island. Investigators think someone deliberately torched three boats at the Waikiki Yacht Club. And Ted Williams died today. A look back at the accomplishments of a baseball immortal. KGMB 9 News at 5 is next. Here at the Jackson Auto Group, we're just like you. We're husbands and wives, brothers, fathers and sons. And when we make a major purchase, we look for the same things you do. Straight talk and a great deal. We understand you want to shop in a quieter atmosphere. We know that service is just as important as the type of car, van, or SUV you choose. So let us show you the Jackson experience. When you're ready to buy or lease a vehicle, remember the Jackson Auto Group. Straight talk. Great deal. Enter 7-Eleven's Carnival of Cars for a chance to win your choice from five 2002 cars. Courtesy of Jackson Auto Group and KGMB9. Right now, Foremost Whole Milk and 2% are on special at $5.69 a gallon. Foremost Milk, quality and freshness you can count on. And 8.4 ounce cans of Piranha Energy Drinks are on special at $1.89. Piranha Energy Drinks, energy with bite. Great everyday values, specials, and a chance to win the car of your choice from 7-Eleven. News at 5. Good evening, I'm Jade Moon. And I'm Jim Mendoza. Our top story today, the 4th of July fireworks display that turned out to be a dud. Disappointing thousands who crowded beaches in Kailua. And KGMB 9's Grace Lee has more on what last night's cancellation means for future events of this type. Well, it was the perfect way to end the 4th of July on a down note. Instead of a sky filled with fireworks to celebrate the nation's birthday, thousands of people were left in the dark, wondering what went wrong. People who live on the windward side know that on July 4th, Kailua Beach Park is where they can enjoy a good fireworks show. So many were disappointed Thursday night when fire authorities decided high winds made it too hazardous to allow the show to go on. That left thousands of July 4th revelers in the lurch. This man made a split-second decision to take his family to the fireworks show in Honolulu. It would have been a whole lot better if we could have you know, stayed right in the area to see a fireworks show. But we had to um, actually go all the way down to Waikiki, to um, Alamoana, to actually view the fireworks. So it's kind of disappointing. The Kailua Chamber of Commerce chairman says that local businesses donated the money for the fireworks, but money isn't what's important. And the sponsors feel the same way. They're not, they're not counting the pennies. They're, they're wanting to see the fireworks. The fireworks were supposed to have been shot from a barge near Flat Island, but high winds made the ocean too choppy to bring the barge into the bay. Now, Flat Island was a launching point for years, but that ended because of concerns over wildlife on the island. Officials say next year, there's a chance the launch spot could be returned to Flat Island. Back to you. Very good. Thanks a lot, Grace. Investigators are still searching for the suspect who apparently set fire to three boats this morning. A 35-foot yacht was set ablaze at the Waikiki Yacht Club. After it was extinguished, the yacht next door was torched, and then one more. Captain Richard Sue said it appears the fires were deliberately set. It does appear this fire is suspicious, intentionally set, and caused several thousand dollars damages to these three yachts at the Waikiki Yacht Club. Investigators said it appears the suspect or suspects tossed flames, or uh, I should say flares, inside the three yachts. No one was on the burned vessels, but people live aboard some adjacent boats. Those who use freeways as racetracks could end up losing their cars under a law signed by the governor today. Lawmakers stiffened penalties for anyone caught speeding by more than 30 miles an hour, and on a third offense, a person's car could be seized. The governor also signed a bill making it a crime to injure or interfere with a service dog and one to expand labeling requirements for Hawaii-grown coffee. Right now, uh, a lot of the small roasters are producing premium blends that are 30 percent or 50 percent. But under the existing labeling law prior to today, they could only say it contains no less than. 
10 percent. Coffee growers say the law allows manufacturers to say exactly how much of the coffee in a blend is grown locally. Former head of the Hawaii Tourism Authority, Bob Fishman, is throwing his name into the hat for a seat on the city council. Today, Fishman, also a former city managing director and Homeland Security advisor, filed nomination papers. Gee, we've done a lot of work in Waikiki and turning around the public's uh, interaction with the convention center when I was uh, at the Hawaii Tourism Authority. So I'm, I'm really anxious about sharing some of the things that I know and maybe I can make a contribution to the quality of life in our neighborhood. So. Fishman is running for District 4, which covers Waikiki to Hawaii Kai, and he will likely face lawmaker Charles DeJoux and neighborhood board member Charlie Rogers in September's election. Well, it was back to business at the Los Angeles International Airport as the FBI tries to figure out why a man went on a shooting rampage yesterday, killing two people before being shot to death by security guards. Federal agents are now focusing their investigation in this Los Angeles suburb where Mohammed Hadayat lived. They've already removed his computer and other personal items. Neighbors say Hadayat took down a sign about the Quran from his home because he was worried about how his children would be treated. Others say he had a problem with an American flag his neighbor flew. He had a lot of anger. He had a lot of anger in America. He said there are a lot of there are crazy people in America. He had a lot of anger. International travelers are returning to the Bradley Terminal to make their flights signaling the return of normal operations at Israel's El Al Airlines after yesterday's attack. Yeah, nervous, but uh, like all of the leaders have said, life goes on. Dr. David Parkas heard the shots and turned in time to see gunman Mohammed Hadayat wrestling with a guard. I ran out and jumped on his legs and just held his legs down while the security guards uh, tried to disarm him. Hadayat was shot and killed by an El Al security guard. Parkas said he helped hold the gunman as he died and then performed CPR on two other victims. His brother calls him a hero. Everybody was just laying out on the ground. He could have just sat there and shot away at people. Thousands of July 4th travelers heard the shots and scrambled for cover. But Hadayat killed two people before he was killed. Among his victims, passenger Yakov Aminov, who leaves a pregnant wife and eight children. While Hadayat carried a driver's license that listed July 4th as his birthday, the FBI says there is still no clear motive for Hadayat's attack. We're not ruling out hate crimes, we're not ruling out terrorism completely, and we're not ruling out uh, uh, other types of issues that may be a random act of violence itself. Well, the FBI says Hadayat was not on any of its federal watch lists. The man many call the greatest baseball hitter of all time has died. Hall of Famer Ted Williams had a heart attack this morning. Reporter Manuel Gallegas takes a look back at his life and his legendary career on the diamond. They called him Thumpin' Ted, Teddy Ballgame, the kid. But none stuck like the splendid splinter because this skinny six foot three sportsman could hit a ball better than pretty much anyone. Ted Williams was born in San Diego in 1918. As a teenager, he was picked up by the Boston Red Sox. At only 20, he set a rookie record that still stands, driving in 145 runs. He was a single-minded perfectionist who would rub olive oil and resin into his bat. Stubborn and vulgar, the Boston sports writers didn't like him. I never did really ever think I was better than anybody else. The only thing that stimulated me was when somebody that I was playing against was doing a better job than I was doing. But in 1941, Williams proved there was no one better. Remember this day, Ben, September 28th, 1941. It may be a history-making day. Williams batted 406, the last time anyone hit over 400. He walked away from baseball to be a Marine flyer in World War II and then as a fighter pilot in the Korean War. Then back to baseball. 1960 was his final time at bat. Here's the pitch. Williams swings, and there's a long drive to deep right. That ball is going, and it is gone. A home run for Ted Williams in his last time at bat in the major league. Somebody at the microphone starts hollering and telling everybody the greatest hitter that ever lived. I want to tell you something. I get a little lower in my seat, and I want to hide if I can, but I can't because... I can't believe that myself either. Oh, all right. In 1999, at the All-Star Game, Williams, debilitated from strokes, tossed the pitch and was crowded by the game's new stars. He was the guy the greats called greats. Manuel Gallegas, CBS News. None of us will. In Kentucky, more than 700 family and friends paid their respects to singer and actress Rosemary Clooney. 
The funeral was held at St. Patrick's Church. Clooney died last Saturday at her home in Beverly Hills. She was 74 years old and had been battling lung cancer. Her nephew, George Clooney, was one of 10 pallbearers. Actor Al Pacino and Debbie Boone were among those attending. Drugs used to treat cholesterol could play an even bigger role in preventing heart disease and stroke. And that's next in tonight's Eye on Health. Plus, see how computers are helping patients with a bad knee. And the Waikiki Shell will be rocking tomorrow night with a tribute concert to the Doors. We'll tell you where to get your tickets. Dorit and Shane believe in living life to the fullest. So when two of their daughters were diagnosed with asthma, they weren't about to let it slow the kids down. With HMSA's Asthma Care Connection, they get the guidance they need to manage the girls' condition so they can continue to enjoy life at full throttle. This is their plan to take care of their mind, their body, their spirit, their health. Reserve your seats to the great indoors. Oh, the symphony is wonderful. So I really liked it. The Honolulu Symphony is great. The Honolulu Symphony. Great composers, classical or pops. Seven fantastic concerts in the same seats, guaranteed. Or you can mix and match any seven. The symphony is fabulous. It's a marvelous orchestra. We'll enjoy the symphony anytime. Enjoy the great indoors seven times in the same seats at the Honolulu Symphony. Alan Hackbarth doesn't do ballet, but what he does do is his famous rubber man routine at UH volleyball games, and he does it very well, just like Hawaii Dental Service does what it does very well, with a selection of over 96% of Hawaii's dentists, plus 107,000 more on the mainland, nobody else comes close. Hawaii Dental Service, Hawaii's first dental plan, is still Hawaii's best dental plan. Make way, America, for the special edition Jack in the Box Extended Value Menu 4x4. Four four. For about a now that Jack has beefed up his value menu, you'll be doing some heavy duty hauling. We're talking three big, meaty 99 cent burgers, piled with tons of toppings. So climb aboard, America, and fill up with Jack. In tonight's Eye on Health, cholesterol-lowering drugs could help many more people than previously thought cut their risk of heart disease and stroke. Until now, the drugs known as statins have been prescribed only to people with heart disease or with high cholesterol. However, researchers say diabetes patients and people who have normal or even low cholesterol levels but are considered high risk could also benefit, including for the first time women and the elderly. Scientists say the statins worked just as well in them. In general, the drugs reduce the risk of heart attack and stroke by at least one-third. Doctors in Boston are offering patients a new kind of knee replacement, one they say is more precise than ever. Dr. Malika Marshall reports. 74-year-old Alvin Kahn recently became the first patient in this region to undergo computer-assisted knee replacement surgery at the New England Baptist Hospital in Boston. I tell my friends I like to be on the cutting edge of medical technology. Doctors at the Baptist helped develop the new computer equipment and software. It allows surgeons to map landmarks around the knee to help make their measurements and cuts more accurate. By seeing real-time images of the procedure on a computer screen, doctors can more precisely gauge the actual fit and alignment of the knee implants before they actually begin cutting. If you put the knee in too tightly, it's very difficult to bend it. And if you put the knee replacement in too loosely, then the patient feels unstable and you want to have it, uh, the right amount of tension through a full range of motion. Doctors say not only is this new procedure more accurate and safer for the patient, it's also less invasive, requiring a shorter recovery time than traditional knee replacement surgery. So patients like Alvin are back on their feet in just days instead of weeks. And I have no, uh, no pain or discomfort in my knee at all. Not only will we be able to put these in the right alignment, but we should be able to develop these operations so we can do them all through smaller incisions with more precision. Doctors are now working on similar computer technology to help improve hip replacement surgery. They hope to begin performing that procedure in about six months. Dr. Malika Marshall, CBS News, Boston. Still to come, are you the type of person who always leaves a tip for the waiter or do you make him work for it? 
I'm not going to tell. Yeah. See how the rest of America answered the question. Plus, a consumer reports tissue test that's nothing to sneeze at. See if adding lotion or even alloy to the tissue really makes it any easier on your nose. What kind of person puts solar water heating in their home? People who want to save month after month on water heating. And those who want a $750 rebate. People who want a 35% tax credit and a free post-installation inspection from Hawaiian Electric. So far, over 17,000 people like you have gone solar. If you'd like to get more information about saving with solar energy, call 94 Power. Hawaiian Electric, giving you the power. It's my secret, the way I go for you. Finance Factors knows about home loans. We'd better know. We've been in business for 50 years now, and we're celebrating the big 5-0 with incredible low rates on home loans and refinancing. Low rates, local service at Finance Factors, Hawaii's choice for home loans. Behind all 2002 Saturn L-Series, and behind most 2002 Saturn S series, you'll now find 0% APR financing for five years. For restrictions, see your retailer. Don't miss the best of island chefs with Guy Hagi coming up this Saturday at 4.30 and 6.30 on KGMB9. Guy and Hawaii's best chefs show what it takes to put together local and international dishes for family and friends. That's this Saturday on KGMB9. Around the clock. Around the world. Wherever news breaks, CBS News brings it home to you. Every week. Everywhere. Experience CBS News. If you've got a cold or allergies, you've got to have that box of tissue handy. But all of that sneezing can leave you with that red and swollen nose. So tissue makers are adding all kinds of stuff to the products, lotion, aloe, even vitamin E. This allergy sufferer loves the outdoors, but from spring to fall, she keeps reaching for tissues. Her favorites are ones with lotion. Tissues with lotion are much more comfortable in your nose for a chronic allergy sufferer like myself. But tissues with lotion are not necessarily softer than those without. That's what Consumer Reports found when it tested 21 tissues, including ones with lotion, aloe, and vitamin E, which tend to be more pricey. In a darkened room, panelists assessed softness. All the tissues with lotion were soft, and one of them even felt like suede but you really don't need lotion in a tissue to make it soft. In fact, testers found a number of tissues without lotion were very soft, and you'll want to stick with regular tissue if you use them to clean your glasses. Ones with lotion can be a hassle. They just leave a terrible residue and make them streaky. As for the therapeutic benefits of aloe and vitamin E, Consumer Reports is skeptical. There's no evidence that I know of that the small amounts of vitamin E or aloe in tissue can provide any protective or healing effect for the skin. And when it comes to tissues with menthol, the costliest of those tested, they can irritate rather than soothe. There's a warning on the box that says avoid contact with eyes. If you accidentally touch the tissue or your fingers to your eyes, it may sting. So in the end, allergy sufferers don't have to buy a fancy tissue to get one that's kind to their nose and eyes. <laughs> Making my nose itch. <laughs> if you're looking for the softest and strongest tissue, Consumer Reports says go for the Puffs brand tissues. Of course. Not everyone feels tipping is a good practice, and some believe tips should only be earned. A new poll looks at the practice of tipping. Now a majority of respondents, 73%, say tipping is a fair way to compensate people for various services. But almost 80% feel a tip should be earned, while 21% say diners should always leave a tip. And what's a fair amount, you ask? Most people say they leave between 11 and 15% of a meal's cost. We've got to compute that. Some other interesting things the survey found, people tend to tip more when it's a sunny day. 
How about that? Servers get more when they squat down at the table and make eye contact, too. Okay. Oh, I thought they were just being friendly. Yeah. This weekend's rock, 60s rock music makes a big return at the Waikiki Shell with a tribute concert to The Doors. <laughs> The group Morrison hits the stage in Waikiki as part of a worldwide celebration remembering the late Doors frontman Jim Morrison, who died July 3, 1970. Celebration to the Lizard Gig takes place Saturday night beginning at 7. Tickets range from $10 to $17.50 on sale at the Blaisdell box office. Do you think they'd be big hits today? I mean, if there were a new group today, the Doors? Oh, sure. You think so? Yeah, don't you think? Maybe. Time now for a check on our island weather forecast. Guy. Oh, we've got beautiful weather for our journey into the weekend. I've got your complete weather forecast coming up right after the break. Stick around. This portion of KGMB9 News is brought to you by your Kama Aina Pizza Hut. For hot and fresh pizza, call Pizza Hut. Now there's just one number to call, 643-1111. It's hard to top Pizza Hut's big New Yorker pizza. It's just tough to top this enormous 16-inch pizza with a New York-style crust. But we've found a way to do it. Because now Pizza Hut is topping it off with a free topping. So get the big New Yorker cheese pizza for just $9.99 and choose your topping free of charge. The big New Yorker pizza has eight huge foldable slices so you and the whole gang can get your fill without paying a big bill. The big New Yorker cheese pizza with a free topping only from Pizza Hut, Hawaii's favorite pizza. Get your kids active today. Information on youth physical activities are only a click away at 808hypa.com. Check out our search engine for the latest information on youth physical activities statewide. Find an activity that fits your schedule or Katie's interest. And get contact information for hundreds of opportunities right in your own backyard. 808hypa.com, your one-stop shop to help get your kids active today. There's only one place, one place to find the most home for sale on the market. And only one place to find the most complete Sunday open house guide. The Island Home Section. In the Sunday Honolulu Star Village. You'll read great articles and stories about real estate right here in Hawaii. It's where you'll find more information about Mililani, Hawaii's master planned community by Castle and Cook. Start playing. Start an adventure. Start living in Mililani. The Island Home Section. In the Sunday Honolulu Star Bullet. It's your complete guide to find your way home. This is a public notice for Oahu car buyers. The model year is about to change, and Budget Car Sales Honolulu must remove hundreds of vehicles from its inventory. This week, Budget Car Sales has priced every car, truck, van, and SUV at huge savings. Models include Ford, Honda, Nissan, Toyota, Subaru, and more. All are so nearly new, they still have factory warranty remaining. Budget must dispose of these vehicles quickly, so you receive top dollar for your trade. Paid for or not, and on-the-spot financing. Visit Budget Car Sales this weekend for Oahu's largest clearance event. Now, Guy Hockey with Hawaii's most complete weather report. Happy Aloha Friday. We've got happy weather coming our way. The trade wind weather pattern is not going to let up, and that is a good thing. We still have that upper level low kind of drifting up over the state. It's bringing up some high clouds for the big island, but other than that, it's not having much of an effect on our weather. The trade wind weather pattern holds steady, and that means a few windward and Malka sprinkles drifting in, but we are expecting drier conditions as we head into the weekend, except, of course, for the windward side of the big island. Now, we had lots of sunshine today, and that's why the temperatures again rose up into the upper 80s hot spot. Double snowmen out in Kona, 88 degrees. Here in Honolulu, we had a nice afternoon, lots of sunshine along the coast, 86 degrees. And again, a little cooler over on the windward sides. Hilo came in at 79 degrees because it was relatively cloudy and damp for the Hilo side of the Big Island. Now, for tonight, it should be pretty nice, partly cloudy skies, just a couple windward and Malka sprinkles, and those trade winds kind of easing back. They'll be blowing in at 10 to 15, and temperature range from 73 to 77. A beautiful night tonight. A gorgeous day tomorrow. A little bit of a cloudy start after that. Look for a lot of sunshine, especially along the leeward sides. And those trade winds still breezy at 10 to 25 miles an hour. So it's going to be a beautiful day tomorrow to do whatever you want to do. As far as surf, we could be seeing the start of a south swell. It's not, not going to get that big, but at two to four feet, just about shoulder high, should be very nice, especially with those offshore wind conditions. None to one up in the country and down on the west side, and that means great swimming, great diving, and great fishing. So for the next five days, not many changes coming our way, and of course, that means lots of sunshine out there. So if you do plan on going outside and uh, enjoying the great weather, make sure you take some sunblock. You are going to need it.
But you've just described perfection. Just about, except the surf's a little on the Manini side. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Sorry. a little on the Manini side. <laughs> yeah, but for the golfers and for the tennis players, it's going to be a great weekend. All right, All right great. Yeah, thanks, guys. When we come back, critic Terry Hunter is going to be here, and he's going to review two movies. Oh, including one I want to see, Men in Black 2. This portion of KGMB9 News is brought to you by Zippies. Make your next stop, Zippies. Want to beat the heat this summer? Head to the cool Pepsi summer at Zippy's. Buy any Zippy's plate lunch and you can get a cool 32-ounce Pepsi for just 89 cents. Plus, enter to win one of four summer vacations from Travel Travel worth $2,500 each. The cool Pepsi summer at Zippy's. Both sides trusted me. They knew I had their best interests at heart. People say business and labor unions can't get along. Maisie Hirono doesn't believe it. I met with the unions and businesses. I asked him to move forward with me because this bill was going to help us all. Maisie solved a long-standing problem in a single legislative session. When you can get business and labor working together, anything is possible. Maisie Hirono, governor. Tested, trusted, ready. Enter 7-Eleven's Carnival of Cars for a chance to win your choice from five 2002 cars. Courtesy of Jackson Auto Group and KGMB9. The Hawaiian Springs Water 1-liter bottle with sports cap is on special for 99 cents. Hawaiian Springs, Hawaii's only natural spring water. Hinoichi Tofu, perfect for soups, salads, casseroles, and more, is just $1.45 every day. Hinoichi Tofu, premium. Great everyday values, specials, and a chance to win the car of your choice from 7-Eleven. We've never met, but you know me. I'm your waitress. I brought you your coffee. I served you the drinks. Can we ask you something? Eight hours in here is like smoking almost a pack a day. More of us die of lung cancer and heart disease than in any other women's profession. That's why we're asking you to support the new law banning smoking in restaurants. So go ahead, bring your friends and family, and enjoy smoke-free dining. We promise to get your order right. Aloha Wear for KGMB9 News is provided by Princess Kailani Fashions and Riggers Hawaii. Now, if you're looking for a serious drama at the movies this weekend, movie critic Terry Hunter recommends a New Zealand film called Rain. No, no, I'm going to go for the comedy. I'm going to go to Men in Black 2. Terry Hunter recommends it. It's a film uh, with director ba Barry Sonnenfeld, and it's his long-awaited sequel to his 1997 smash hit. Men in Black 2 is by no means a great movie, but if you like the wacky humor and the special effect aliens of the first film, chances are you'll enjoy this one as well. The cocky Will Smith and the deadpan Tommy Lee Jones make a fine comedy team, and a lecherous talking dog plus some raunchy worms pretty much steal every scene they're in. The plot is overly complicated and downright silly, but it doesn't spoil the fun. Wow, Kevin, that's funny. You just, you don't have like a Kevin. Okay, straight to the point. You are a former agent of a top secret organization that monitors extraterrestrials on Earth. Hey, you're back. Hey, somebody said you were dead. You look good. Tommy Lee Jones no longer remembers that he was once Men in Black's best agent. But that's about to change. The denuralizer. In a few moments, transverse magneto energy will surge through your brain, unlocking information that could hold the key. Darth's very survival. Oh, OK, what's that thing? Will hadn't now, been getting though, along very well with the talking dog, dog right. he'd been forced to work with, and he's you. falling for a pretty waitress who witnessed uh, an alien attack. You tell the girl you love her? Hey, man, she's a witness to a crime. That's it. Yada, yada, you're attracted. She's not even my species, and I'm attracted. One of Men in Black's most amusing devices is the agent's ability to make ordinary human beings totally forget any alien activity they've witnessed. You did not see a room full of shiny weapons. You did not see four alien nightcrawlers. You will cherish and love each other for the rest of your lives. Men in Black 2 may be ridiculous, but that's what makes it so much fun. Would you like a drink? <laughs> Rain is a New Zealand film set in the 1970s. It's a sad, haunting movie about the collapse of a family during a long summer vacation at a beach house. A sad, alcoholic woman and her passive, depressed husband 
are too self-absorbed to understand how their behavior is damaging their precocious 13-year-old daughter and their innocent 8-year-old son. The daughter discovers the mother's affair before her father does. Sam's old boyfriend, Sam's old boyfriend. Is he, darling? No. Is Daddy still your boyfriend? That's a hell of a question. Rain is a melancholy film, beautiful, troubling, and unforgettable. Next week, I'll review my big fat Greek wedding. See you at the movies. Okay. He's what? He's Greek? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Let's take about Rain, Men in Black. Men in Black, Men in Black. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> Unanimous. <laughs> Bye. See you at six. See you at the movies.